What's up guys? So we got a nice one here today, a nice three-stage 252F Cherry Bomb three-stage. And we're gonna shoot this one. I'm gonna use the uh, Tecna base coat gun. I haven't used that gun in a while. And then I'm gonna clear it with the LPH 400 with the LVX cap, the orange cap on it. So you guys know I picked that gun up and I've been dialing it in this week. And this will be a really nice color to see it all finished up and glossed out with. So. Let's do it. Right, that's the base coat gun and you guys seen me seal that we went ahead blew it off tacked it prep salt it waterborne it did the normal cleaning steps then i went ahead and tacked it off and sealed it and we used the one four three m performance gun for the sealer on this one so here we go to go into the base now and i broke out my old techna base coat gun one of my favorite guns i used to use this one a lot before the dv1 for my silvers this is a really, really good gun, and it lays down a beautiful metallic coat without being blotchy. So really good gun. It's an older gun, but it's a really good gun. It's still going for a decent price out there on the market. So we're gonna shoot this one here with it today, and then we're gonna go right into that LPH for the clear. And uh, this is kind of a tight squeeze in here right now. We got this full hood inside and out three stage, and then that bumper over there in the corner. So. We're gonna be walking around this thing real tight and nice and easy. That way we don't stir up any dirt, but you gotta get used to this. This is the kind of stuff that I do all the time. So don't just try to wedge something in here and get it done. I'm used to painting in tight spaces because I wanna get a job done one time. I don't wanna be painting things twice because the first time you do something, you get paid and the second time you don't. So. I got used to doing things this way, and once you get used to it, you'll see in the end, you'll like it a lot better that way. So let's go ahead and move into the base and start putting down the base coat. All right, that's one coat of base, and that gun I'm spraying with is a 1-3, that base coat gun. And it puts out a nice amount of material, being it's a 1-3. You know, the 1-4 puts out a little bit bigger droplet, and that's nice, but I think the 1-3 for the silvers and definitely trickier metallics works really well. And that's what I like to use for that base coat gun. And when I was doing my silvers before I got the DV-1, I was using that gun there and it worked really, really good for the silver. So we're gonna put another coat on of this and then we gotta go into our candy. And then we'll be bringing out that LPH 400 and glossing it out with it. And you'll see this thing come alive, it'll pop once we hit it with the clear. I'm gonna go ahead and put on another couple coats of the base and then we'll go to the mid and then we'll go to the clear. So stay tuned. 
as we finish this thing up and check out that LPH. All right, the base is on it. We got our three coats on this. We got two coverage coats and one control coat. Now that the ground coat is done, we're gonna move into our uh, candy coat. And that's in the water base we're shooting here, if you guys are new to this channel. So we shoot the Sherwin-Williams Ultra 9K. And uh, this one here is ready for the candy coat. We're gonna put two coats on. That's what the spray out card I have is called for that I checked and it matches the car. So let's go ahead and put our two color coats of the candy on and then we'll get right into that LPH and lay this thing down real nice and wet. All right, all the candy's on. We got our two coats on. It's all flashed off. And now we're gonna be moving into our clear and we're using the LPH 400 with the orange cap. So we picked this gun up and I've been spraying it now for the week and I really got it dialed in pretty good. So I'm spraying the gun now at 25 PSI and I turned in the fluid just one turn in and I turned in the actual fan one full turn in now and at 25 PSI with the clear that I'm using, this thing puts down a beautiful coat. So you guys got to remember, it's not all the gun, it's also the clear. So if you have a clear that's real thin, a gun like this isn't going to really, you're going to have to turn your pressure way down so that you don't lose most of it in the air. So we're spraying a pretty high solids clear. And with the clear that I'm using and the way that I got this thing set up, it's really working out good. So. Don't think that no matter what you got, if you got a good gun, you're gonna get a good finish. A lot to do is the clear. And if you got a real thin clear, you're gonna lose half of it in the air and it's gonna be drying in the air and you're not gonna get a nice thick coat that's gonna lay out and put a nice amount of mills on. And also once it hits, it's gonna also flow out. So let's go ahead and clear it and get this thing shining. All right guys, you see the job, it came out nice and clean and uh, definitely a beautiful color, that Cherry Bomb from uh, GM. So that's the three stage. That's one of their newer colors that they got coming out and uh, definitely a beautiful color for a factory color. So we got that LPH spraying really nice and uh, 25 PSI with the clear that I'm using. Make sure you guys remember that each clear you use is gonna be different for each gun. So. You guys see me spraying with a lot of guns and I get a good finish. Well, that's because I've been painting a long time and I know what to do to get this stuff to lay down. So the more time you guys spray the gun, the more times you got, you know, painting cars, the better you're going to be. And that's with anything you do in life. So keep getting into it, do more and the better you'll get at the end. So I hope you guys like this one. I'm definitely liking that LPH and it was definitely a good buy. So see you on the next one.